when you want to write your research uh, in most cases you have to define some key terms or key concepts uh, let's learn what the key terms are and how we I mean researchers how to define them um, you know that this section or this subsection most of the time appears in the introduction section if you you want to wish uh, sorry if you wish to write your proposal it is uh, gonna appear in uh, your introduction if you wish to write your dissertation or thesis it is gonna appear it in the introduction chapter I mean the first chapter most of the time but it depends on you and your institute or your target journal uh, let's learn what the key terms are the key term is usually the main idea in the research question most of the time the variables okay for example if you wish to actually uh, wish to uh, wish to determine the effect of for example cigarette smoking on cancer for example okay lung cancer then the two I mean uh, cigarette smoking and lung cancer are your key concepts the, your main ideas so you have to define them for example what you mean by cigarette smoking when somebody uh, only smokes one cigarette is it a cigarette smoker or not is he sorry or she is this he or she is it a cigarette smoker or not you know you have to define the minimum number of actually cigars one smokes or the maximum number to be included or to be considered as a cigarette smoker and how she or he should be afflicted with cancer to call him or her actually um, the lung, can lung cancer sufferer I mean the patient who suffers from lung cancer so you have to define uh, some terms here uh, most of the time the key terms are the variables and you know that key terms or variables or some main points main ideas frequently appear in your research if one word one term technical term specifically appears in your text frequently or better to say most frequently on or the number two or the number three most frequently the second most frequent or the third most frequent technical term most of the time your actually your text is around it or is about it so they are your key terms okay so if you wish to distinguish key terms they are your variables or they are the words or technical words technical terms most commonly occurring in your text this means that they are concepts at the core of your study okay then we know how to actually how to distinguish key terms the definition of key terms is usually an annex to a work for example you uh, might include it at the end or uh, either at the beginning of or more likely near the end of with a list of acronyms jargon credits and so on in some cases uh, uh, this is the case I mean in some cases mm, they might be the case you you might put your definitions at the end of your book at the end of your chapter at the end of your research article but in research most of the time most often we include a subsection definition of key terms in in the introduction section in the introduction chapter in the first chapter uh, so that we can define our main ideas are actually key terms technical terms I mean our concepts at the core of our study okay and definition of key terms is intended to assist readers in understanding commonly used terms and concepts when reading interpreting and evaluating scholarly research you know you know in some cases when you actually talk about for example unemployment uh, it is a general term but you know that politicians for example before the elections or after the elections or at the end of their um, actually period uh, tell that for example unemployment had decreased or it is only one percent okay 
they define new actually new features for example sometime in the past I myself experienced a period in which the president uh, claiming that uh, actually the unemployment rate is lower than 1% do you know how he defined unemployment he told that or he claimed that if you are a student you are not unemployed if you for example go to and take a bus or take a taxi and you spend one hour a day then you are not unemployed it doesn't matter whether you earn money or not it doesn't matter whether you actually gain a money gain money in return or not whether you study sorry if you study you are on you are not unemployed if you are a student you are not unemployed it doesn't matter whether they pay you or not based on that definition he actually calculated a number of uh, unemployed people and he claimed that the unemployed and uh, I mean the unemployment rate is lower than one one percent this is actually definition of key term based on he, that researcher that president okay he just collected data or his team just collected data based on that definition and based on that definition I mean the definition he provided uh, the unemployment rate was lower than one percent okay uh, it although it was political I mean definition but uh, it doesn't matter uh, b because we researchers do not get, actually care about the political uh, definitions it is important for us what the definition is and uh, what the actually outcome is uh, whether it is political or not doesn't matter okay so you can define key terms for example a smoker how many cigars if you as a cigarette smoker smoke uh, make you a cigarette smoker for example five cigars a day ten cigars a day a packet a day or more than that or less than that okay or if you for example uh, gain how much money you will be employed and lower than that you will be unemployed whether you work or not based on definition this is called operational definition this means that operational definitions might differ from general definitions based on general definitions we might actually call all the smokers a smoker okay but based on this researchers definition I mean based on me if you smoke 10 cigars a day then you are a smoker if you smoke less than that you are not a smoker okay it is just for fun your smoking is just for fun then this depends on your definition I mean the researchers definition the researchers definition in their text which is only dedicated to their text not other research okay if you define unemployment like this like what I said in the case of my president then it is the definition for your research only okay only for your research not actually the definition for all research so it is called operational definition and if you wish to do a research of any type you have to operationally define some key terms you know what the key term is and you know how to define it okay uh, for example you can use some cliches some phrases like this throughout this paper or throughout this research the term X will refer to um, by X I mean uh, this and that throughout this paper the term X will be used to refer to you know some words only some words uh, were changed here and then a new cliche is appeared actually appeared here in this article the acronym or the abbreviation X, Y and Z will stand for 
based on this definition, this definition, this abbreviation, only in this article. Okay, and it it says that throughout this paper, not all all research, uh, all research on the web, for example, throughout this paper only. Okay, according to Smith, uh, based on his actually argument, X can be defined as follows. This is a definition actually cited from another source. This might be a general definition, okay? Uh, and if you stick to this definition in your research, you can tell actually the features of this definition, the minimum and maximum def uh, features, okay? I mean, the l you have to delimit, okay? D-E-L-I-M-I-T. You have to delimit. Uh, who is included or what features are included and what's, what features are not included uh, or who is included or and who is not included for example if somebody is a smoker uh, what features make him a smoker and what features mm, make him not a smoker non a smoker okay the term X is a relatively new name for uh, something this is a new name. In the past, we called it something else, commonly referred to as. In the past, we called it like Z, for example, but nowadays we call it X. Okay, and this means that uh, X is a replacement or substitute for the former name or former actually term. If you want to specify terms that are used in your paper, uh, you can use some phrases like this. In the present paper, in this paper, in the current paper, okay, X was therefore defined in terms of uh, based on which factors you are defining your, uh, your, your key term, your keyword. In this research, the term X will be used to, in, the, in its broader sense to refer to all uh, you didn't exclude anything and it's this is a general actually definition here in this study the term that will be used to describe X or sorry this phenomenon is X uh, by X we mean this phenomenon here okay in this paper and this study in this research as you see in the present research the present paper the terms X and Y are used interchangeably to mean this and that. This means that they are the same or near the same. X and Y are used interchangeably. This means that you can use X instead of Y or Y instead of X. Throughout this paper, the term education is used to refer to informal systems as well as, for example, formal systems. When we mean, when we talk about education, we mean both informal systems and formal systems. What you learn from your father and I mean mother, your parents, and what you learn at the school at the university. Both of them are actually included in the education. Throughout this paper only, okay. If you want to tell the readers about general meanings or application of meanings, uh, here you can use some k k k actually cliches like this. The term X refers to, and you can define uh, actually the word based on your own definition or someone's el someone else's definition. The term X encompasses A, B, and C. Here we have uh, some features for X. Uh, a and B and C, or we can classify these su actually subcategories here uh, to actually define the term X. X can be defined as uh, as you see here, and then it encompasses. Uh, you can list and features of that actually that term that concept. X can be loosely described as as you see. You can complete the sentence. The term X has come to be used to refer to, uh, this means that we use X to refer to something here, this phenomenon, this concept. 
if you wish to actually tell more about general meanings or applications of meanings, you can use some other cliches like this. The term X is generally understood to mean in the literature in general, the term X tends to be used to refer to uh, the broad use of the term X is sometimes equated with, this means that it is equal to something. Uh, whereas X refers to the operations of uh, something here, uh, Y refers to the, some, for example, something else. Because whereas means that we are comparing X to something else here. There is a dif difference between a this one and that one. The term X is a relatively new name for a Y, commonly referred to as something, as you see here. This means that uh, we actually, in recent years, for example, we added some features and we created or coined a new term. We actually redefined it and added or removed some features. Okay, based on new definition. In broad biological terms, X can be defined as any stimulus that is, uh, this is taken from some biological text, as you see, and we have some actually definitions of key terms indicating difficulties in defining it. When you can't define something, when it is hard to define a key term, you can use some cliches like this. A generally accepted definition of X is lacking. There is no actually uh, no consensus on the definition of X. Uh, not all researchers actually accepted one as one and the same definition. Yeah. Unfortunately, X remains a poorly defined term. This means that mm, there is no actually generally accepted definition here. Uh, in the field of X, various definitions of X are found. We have different definitions and some researchers define it from different perspectives. Okay, uh, every person from its own angle, from its own perspective, his, sorry, his own pers perspective. Then we have different definitions. Uh, here we have Smith identified four abilities that might be subsumed under the term X. Based on Smith, we can tell that X, X here can be actually can be defined uh, having some four abilities. Although differences of option, so, sorry, opinion still exist, there appears to be some agreement that X refers to uh, some people still disagree. Uh, some others, or some others, uh, have an have an agreement. Uh, I mean, have similar or the same ideas here. X is a commonly used notion in, for example, biology, and yet it is a concept difficult to define precisely.